Okay, let's quickly have a look at some different sorts of uh, immunity. Uh, first off, let's just consider what the term immunity means. And immunity is our ability to, to prevent ourselves from getting particular types of diseases. And I want to consider, firstly, the, the, the words active and passive. Now, when we're talking about these two words, uh, I, I think active is able to do it ourselves. So if we're talking about antibodies, able to produce our antibodies ourselves. Passive is that we're not producing it ourselves, someone else is doing it for us. The next words let's consider is natural versus artificial. Okay? Um, and, it, and these terms applied to immunity is natural, we believe that um, it's happening within our own body. Artificial, they're coming from outside of our own body. Um, and I like to think artificial mostly just being um, administered with a needle. So needles aren't very uh, natural. So um, artificial is with a needle. Natural is our own body doing it. So let's have a look at um, some examples of this. So first off, let's consider naturally acquired immunity. Now, naturally means the body can do it by itself. So if it was naturally acquired and passive... It means passively we're not producing the antibodies ourselves. It means that um, we're getting them from our mother in some way, um, either th uh, through the placenta uh, during pregnancy or um, through breast milk after the baby's born. And that would be a passive way to get the, the antibodies naturally. If it was active, that what we, that's what we'd probably consider to be most common when we talk about immunity. A person's exposed to the disease and then they produce the antibodies themselves. It's natural and it's active that we, we do it ourselves. Let's now look at some examples of art, art, let's now look at some examples of artificial immunity. And so artificial immunity can uh, also be active or passive. Um, if it's active, that means we're putting um, cells into our body, dead or weakened cells or vaccines or um, particular um, proteins um, that, are, that are going to be rec recognized as antigens. And the body is having an active response itself. So it's artificial in the fact that it's come from outside the body um, and not part of a, a natural reaction. Um, and it's active that the body's producing the antibodies itself. We also have artificial passive immunity. And artificial comes from outside. Passive means we don't actively produce the antibodies. Um, it means that the antibodies um, is really just what we're injecting. And that's often in a serum. Um, Antivenom is, is a classic example where you need to get a lot of the antibodies in to act quickly. You can't afford to, to wait and let the body gradually produce them over time. Okay? Um, so when you need to have an instant reaction, um, that's where you could have a, a, a big boost or a big serum of uh, antibodies. And that's uh, artificial passive immunity. Okay, good luck with uh, studying those four types of uh, immunity.